Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Rob Johnson. He was going to visit his daughter. So why did a Woodridge man have three loaded guns tucked in his waistband and a rifle in a case? He's talking to our Roseanne Tejas. It's an interview you'll see only on two. She joins us live now from the Mokina Metro Station where he was arrested. Roseanne. May I have your attention, That's right. Well, Rob and Erica, to be clear, it is not okay to carry a gun on any form of public transportation in Illinois. That includes the train stations and the parking lots. But this 55-year-old former Marine wasn't sure. So when his car broke down as he was leaving a shooting range, he decided at the last minute to hop on a Metro train. If I'd have known it was illegal, or if he'd have indicated it was, I wouldn't have gone on the train. Mike Garofalo says he told a Metro conductor that he had a concealed carry card and asked if he could board the Chicago Brown train with a pellet rifle. And he waved me on the train. But just a few stops down the line. All of a sudden there's a cop on my shoulders and, you know, practically yelling at me and, you know, throwing me up against the seat, handcuffing me. A picture taken through a train window and posted to Twitter shows a handcuffed Garofalo and police holding that pellet rifle. Metro Police also found three loaded handguns and hundreds of rounds of ammunition. Garofalo showed us his receipt from the shooting range and said it's not unusual to take hundreds of rounds to the range. But should he have known better than to board a train? We did find a no handgun sign on the door at the station. Metro confirms they are not on the trains. You go to other places and, you know, they've got gun racks on their back windows of their pickup trucks and nobody thinks twice when they park and go into the store, you know? I would just say... But um, tonight, his wife says he won't be doing it again. He's humiliated. He's angry at himself. He's just incredibly embarrassed. Now, the Garofalo said they wanted to share their story because they don't want anybody else to get in any trouble like this on Metra. I should also say Metra denies that they ever told him it was okay to board the train. Garofalo returns to court in November, facing misdemeanor gun charges, at which time he's hoping to get his weapons back. Live in Mokina tonight, Roseanne Teus, CBS 2 News. Rob? Okay, Roseanne, thank you.